Find what you're looking for amongst the dead. I am Kreia, and I am your rescuer, as you are mine. Tell me, do you recall what happened? Your ship was attacked. You were the only survivor. A result of your Jedi training, no doubt. Your stance, your walk, tells me you are a Jedi. Your walk is heavy. You carry something that weighs you down. So it would seem. Keep your past and let us focus on the now. I do not know. I was removed from the events of the world as I slept. A survey of the surroundings may provide the answers we seek. The ship we arrived in, the Ebon Hawk, must still be in this place. We should recover it and leave. We were attacked once, and I fear our attackers will not give up the hunt so easily. Without transport, weapons and information, they will find us easy prey indeed. You may wish to extend your search to some clothes, if only for proper first impressions. I leave you to the explorations of this place. Here I will remain and attempt to center myself. Instead, reach out with your perceptions. Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive, but the small oscillations of energy, that you can feel, echoing outwards. Is fate, but it is there. It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. Do not 
not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. But you have nothing to fear from this one, and he might yet prove useful. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniform while I've been in here? Atten. Atten Rand. Excuse me if I don't shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. Security claimed I violated some trumped-up regulation or another. Take it up with them if you want. But they stopped listening to me shortly before they stopped feeding me. Now that's criminal. Oh, you mean you didn't come here on purpose? I'm shocked. I really am. This slice of paradise is the Paragus Mining Facility, the only supplier of shipping-grade engine fuel to this corner of the galaxy. Paragus Fuel plays havoc with engines, but it gets the job done. As long as you don't mind the toxic byproducts of trying to mine it without blowing yourself up. Yeah, this asteroid belt is one giant minefield. One proton torpedo, even a stray blaster shot, can start an explosion that'll make the one that shattered Paragus 2 look like a kid's pop detonator. You know the planet with the exposed core you saw flying in? That hole was caused by the first mining station that tried to siphon fuel off the planet. Blew a whole chunk out of the planet and set it drifting out here in a big clump of fuel-cooled asteroids. So the miners drill the asteroids now, not the planet's surface. That's why they don't allow blasters here. Can't trust a miner jumped up on Juma Juice not to fire one stray shot that'll turn the entire colony into a thermal detonator. You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the Exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion, and then I was sitting here for a long time, waiting for some half-naked miner to show up and ask a bunch of questions. Don't know much about it. Maybe the Exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows. 
Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? Well, I wasn't there. But like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. Well, that was the story. But whatever happened there must not have lasted. Oh, there was some big civil war on Korriban. Knocked that academy to the ground. Looks like Revan's Grand Crusade finally consumed her. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. Look, no offense or anything, but your weird half-naked interrogation isn't my idea. Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? From my beautiful view in this security cage? Look, I heard some explosions, some emergency alarms, some toxic gas pouring out of the vents. Maybe none of them survived whatever happened. And if they're all gone... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship and then we fly out of here. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. Alright, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated. So it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. The thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure pizzack. Console's ours. Now, all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and... Hey! This system's been severed from the main hub, after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system, it's been cut clean. That's my guess. To cut off the console specifically from remote, then sever the hub. It doesn't get any more deliberate than that. I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. We could try. But if the miners were trying to trap you up here and probably kill you, why not call them and chat? I don't think a friendly call is going to wake them up. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. Thank <laughs> you.